Hello, my name is Kishwani. This is K E S H W A N I Kishwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here. Practicing to take GRE General Test, the 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. This is what you need. This is what this is what you need to prepare for the exam. It has seven real exams. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 123. Quantitative comparison question number 15. This is a hard question. This is the very last question in the in the in the in the series of 16 quantitative comparison question, and therefore this is number 15. This is supposed to be the hardest of the 15 questions. Only about only about 27% of the people got it right. And you're going to find this information on page number 189. If you turn to page 189, which is where you're going to find the answers, and the next to the answers, it tells you what percentage of the question, what percentage of the people who took the ex this particular exam got this particular question correctly. Let's take a look at it. So this is a hard question. About three quarter, about three quarters of the people are missing it. Tell you what, before I actually solve this question, let me let me let me do a different question here. Let me let me ask you this question. Here's your triangle, and what I want you to compare, forget about this question for a second, let's, let's do something different here. What I want you to compare in column A and column B is uh, area of triangle ABC, let's call it ABC, versus, uh, versus 12. Well, how do you find the area of a triangle? Area of a triangle is half base times height, and therefore one half base, which is four times height, six. Six times four is twenty-four, and half of that is twelve. Is that correct? Is that the height of the triangle? Is this the height of the triangle, this particular triangle ABC? The answer is no. That is not the height of the triangle. What does the height of the triangle mean? Height means exactly what it says. Height of a triangle means you take the highest point on the triangle and you ask yourself how high is that from the base. This thing, this thing is the height, let's call it D. This distance CD is the height. How do you find this particular height of this triangle? In order for me to figure out the area of this particular triangle, I need to find the height, which is this part right here, which is unknown. I do not know what that is. Is there any way to figure out the height? The answer is no. Well, then how the hell am I supposed to tell you which quantity is bigger if I cannot figure out the height? In order, to fig in order for me to figure out the area of the triangle, I need to know the height. Well, that's where I'm missing the point. The point that I'm missing here is that these questions are called quantitative comparison not computation. Nobody is asking me to compute the area of the triangle. They are not asking you to compute the area of the triangle. They simply want you to they simply want you to compare the area of the triangle versus 12, which is an entirely different story. So even though I do not know the area I even though I do not know the height of this triangle, I can tell you for sure that whatever this height is, whatever this height is is less than 6. How do I know that it's less than 6? because this distance at an angle is equal to 6. So if I have a triangle here like this, and if I tell you that this is 10, then distance that comes down straight has to be less than 10. I don't know what that is, but it's less than 10. This is how we write less than 10, 10 with a negative sign on the top. I'm going to write it like this here. So height equals something less than 6. That's what you need to know here. So this was wrong. The height of this thing is less than 6. So therefore 4 times something less than 6 is going to be something less than 24 and half of that is going to be something less than 12. This quantity here is something less than 12. And since in the other column I have 12, the answer here in fact is B, not D. The answer for this question is B. Now let's do the question that is given to us in the exam. I'm going to erase this all of it now. We're done. 
Let's do the one that is given to us in the exam. I'm going to leave this here. The picture that is given to us in the exam is... Well, actually I can continue here. I'm going to do some changes here. I'm going to with a different color. Let's see what I can do. As best as I can do. You see? The area of the triangle we just figured out is less than 12. And this part here that I just drew You see this is 4 and so is this one. This is also 4. And I call this thing ABC. The area of the triangle ADC is same as the area of the triangle ABC. There's a what what is a rectangle? This is a rectangle, isn't it? This is a parallelogram, rectangle, whatever you want to call it. What is a rectangle? What is what is any four-sided picture? Any four-sided picture, a quadrilateral, which is what it's called, any four-sided picture. Any four-sided picture is nothing but a union of two triangles. Since this is a symmetric four-sided picture, the two triangles that we have there are identical. The area of this triangle is the same as the area of that triangle. And therefore the area of the whole thing, since the area of the triangle is less, less than 12, the area of the whole thing is less than 24. Since in the other quantity, since therefore, let me erase this here. Since we are asked to compare area of A, B, C, D, which is less than 24, because the area of triangle is less than 12, the area of this thing is less than 24, and the other column I have 24, therefore the answer is, the answer is B. Voila, that's it. Let me look at the clock, see how much time I've used up. So I hope, you, I hope you understood it. I hope uh, you found it helpful. If you wish to buy the solution manuals to all the problems in this book, right here, all the seven, seven exams, or if you wish to hire me for personal private tutoring, I do the entire exam, not just the math part. Uh, if you wish to hire me for personal private tutoring, in either case, go to the website at www.prep, P-R-E-P, prep, F-O-R-4, G-R-E.com, and send me an email. All right, and we'll talk. Thank you.